Are you tired of cleaning, adjusting, or replacing your breaker points because they're burnt, pitted, or worn? Are you tired of trying to keep your breaker point fired vehicle in top running condition? If so, then it's time to get rid of your old points and condenser and move into reliable firing, maintenance-free electronic ignition. This is the Breakerless SE Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit. Electric Limited part number 38131. Will it work on your vehicle? Yes, if you have a GM Delco V8 distributor equipped with breaker points, points adjustment window on the distributor cap, screw-on type rotor, and a stock ignition coil. For those hoping to keep an original looking underhood appearance and prefer the look of a stock ignition system when installed, this entire conversion kit shown here fits completely under the distributor cap. And unlike most quote-unquote under the cap replacement ignition systems, the Breakerless SE installs with no additional wires protruding from the distributor. You'll only connect your original coil wire, as will be shown later in the video. Besides keeping a stock appearance, here are some of the benefits of the Breakerless SE Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit. You do not have to remove your distributor to install this conversion system. The trigger and power components are integrated into one fully encapsulated high temperature thermoplastic module. Active dwell control maintains high RPM spark energy without coil heating at idle. Auto standby mode prevents coil damage or drained battery if the key is inadvertently left on. The Hall effect or magnetic sensor is unaffected by vibration, engine oil, moisture, dirt, or contaminants. These contaminants can play havoc on other conversions that have an optical sensor. Over voltage protection from high amp battery chargers. Reversed battery cable protection if this accidentally happens. Simple installation. It will probably take you longer to read the detailed instructions than it will to install this conversion kit. And a three year warranty, which is unheard of for an automotive electrical part. Since this system is designed to convert an original breaker point ignition to electronic ignition, you do not and should not remove either your ballast resistor or resistance wire from your wiring harness. You'll also want to keep your original or use an original type ignition coil. The Breakerless SE comes with everything you'll need to easily convert your breaker point ignition to reliable, virtually maintenance free electronic ignition. In the kit you'll receive a two-piece vane assembly that mounts underside the distributor's rotor and around the distributor shaft as will be shown later in the video. The electronic ignition module with reliable Hall effect sensor encased and sealed in a high temperature housing. This module fits perfectly into the same holes as were your points. You will not have to drill or tap additional holes. A complete hardware kit, a small screwdriver, and a clearly written step-by-step -step instruction manual with helpful diagrams. How to install the Breakerless SE Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit. First, remove your distributor cap. Next, remove your rotor. Next, remove your points and condenser. And disconnect your distributor to coil wire. By the way, the Breakerless SE will work on both single or dual point distributors. This is also the perfect time to inspect your distributor for any problems and get them corrected before installing the conversion kit. Next, we'll use one of the slotted 10 by 32 by 1 inch button head screws to run in and out of the rotor mounting holes just to clean up the threads. Next, we'll get our two-piece vane assembly. As you can see, the two halves will nest together to form a circle. Insert one of the slotted 10 by 32 by 1 inch button head screws through one side of the vane assembly.
Place the halves around the distributor shaft. Using the included flat blade screwdriver, insert the screwdriver into the slot on the end of the screw through the existing rotor mounting hole. Turn the screw counterclockwise to thread the assembly up and snug to the mounting ear. You may need to use needle nose pliers to help elevate the screw from the bottom. Do not tighten the screw. Repeat for the other side. Then, using the included 1 8 inch hex wrench, tighten both screws from the bottom. Next, we'll get our module. Install the 632 by quarter inch brass binding head screw into the module, but do not tighten. There is a locating bump on the distributor's point plate that must be lined up with the corresponding hole in the bottom of the module so that the module sits flush with the point plate. Work the module through the vein assembly opening and position where the points used to be. Then get your two 832 by 3 quarter inch filister screws and number 10 split lock washers. These will be used to fasten the module to the point plate. You'll want to use a larger flat blade screwdriver on these screws. Do not completely tighten down the screws yet. Then get the flexible wire clamp. Using the other 832 by 3 quarter inch filister screw and number 10 split lock washer, the wire clamp will be mounted closest to the entry point of the distributor lead wire. When tightening down the screw, position the wire clamp facing outward and parallel to the module in this position. Then tighten down the other screw. Now to show you how simple our one wire system is, you'll fasten your existing distributor to coil lead wire to the small brass screw on the module. Make sure you position the lead wire above the wire clamp. Then tighten down the screw. You're done with the wiring. Next we'll address the wire clamp. The wire clamp should face outward and be wrapped around the lead wire to keep it away from the vein assembly as shown here. The use of needle nose pliers may be helpful to bend the clamp. Now turn the distributor shaft to ensure that the vein assembly does not strike the module or interfere with the wire clamp and lead wire. Next we'll address our rotor. If necessary, you may need to enlarge both of the rotor mounting holes with a 7 32nd inch drill bit. On the bottom of the rotor, you may also need to file down both round and square indexing pegs to less than 1 8 of an inch as to not interfere with the vein assembly underneath. On the bottom of the rotor, there will be a square and round indexing peg. Match the corresponding pegs on the rotor to those on the distributor. 
Insert the rotor onto the two mounting screws and secure the rotor with the two 1032 hex nuts and number 8 split lock washers. Tighten the screws with a 5 16 inch nut driver or box end wrench. And lastly, install the distributor cap. The Brakeless SE Single Wire Electronic Ignition Conversion Kit is now installed. The Brakeless SE Kit can be purchased from Electric Limited. Part number 38131.